Oh no, where's Matthew? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, here he is with no hair. Well, actually, I'll kind of have some hair because it's growing back. My new hair is growing on me. Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? Um, obviously, I got a haircut and um, as the title of the video suggests, um, this is the story of how I won a costume contest for Halloween. So, once upon a time, there was a young lad named Matthew who was very handsome and also very conceited. And this young boy, he knew there was a costume contest at his college coming up. So he realized that in order to win, he had to do something crazy. So he got a t-shirt and he wrote life and then he got some lemons and he walked around and gave people lemons and his shirt said life because life gives you lemons. Just kidding. That would have been really lame, but also probably is what I'm going to do next year. And then what the young lad Matthew decided was, huh, what could win him the contest? Because he's a very competitive young lad. He's a very competitive person. His middle name is Competico. You thought I was going to say competitive, but I'm not. But I didn't. His middle name was Competico. This, this boy's me. My middle name's actually Aaron. The young lad, he said, hmm, what's popular right now? If I need to win, I need to dress up as a stranger thing. The young boy, he dressed up as Eleven. But he said, if I am to dress up as Eleven from Stranger Things, it has to be over the top. It has to be classy, creative. It has to be something so great. So he shaved his head. I sh also shaved my face, but it's no shave November, which means this video is really off and I probably should have released it like the week after Halloween. So the boy shaved his head, he bought a dress, plus size, at the thrift store. He uh, bought, had Converse and wore white socks. And then, on the day of the contest, this happened. competition came in. As he got off the catwalk, another cat, figuratively, as in a person, came up the catwalk and he said, you gotta be kidding me. And he said, I'm gonna lose Meow because this person was the young son of John Goodman. He was John Goodboy because he looked just like Fred Flintstone. I'm on the and this guy used his looks, his natural given looks, and his body to become Fred Flintstone. It's just really hard to talk about, man. And he walked the catwalk like a Flintstone. And everybody cheered and laughed. And Matt realized this would not be an easy competition to win. Then he realized his chance to win was almost gone. The judgment came. The three prizes, the three categories were most original, most funny, most scary. Matthew wanted to win them all because the winner would win a Kindle Fire. Actually, it was just a Kindle that was on fire. Say you won to go down in the legacy of the winner of the costume contest was something that Matthew, that I, that I desired. They announced the first winner was John Goodboy for Most Funny. Matt's heart sank, not really because he wasn't really paying attention. They said Most Scary, and the winner was a girl with warts on her face who actually really just had warts. It wasn't makeup, she was just had warts. Kind of embarrassing. And then the third winner for Most Original, Most Creative. But he just was Matthew. But in reality, the truth is, he just saw a guy dress up like Eleven on Facebook a month ago and he decided that'd be really funny. So it wasn't really that creative. Like, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10 on the creativity scale, it was probably an 11, but, but, but regardless. 
at Matthew Wan, that Kindle Fire. It's sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet. He just rereads Harry Potter. Like, let's be honest, guys. Like, oh. That is the story of Matthew's costume contest. I'm done. Refer you know, if I refer to myself in the third person, I could say, you all should subscribe to Matthew. He's really hilarious. Just kidding. You should subscribe to Matthew. You should watch his videos. You should just do everything. And yeah, that's about it, guys. All right, y'all. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, I will be posting every Thursday now, so stay up to date. We have some really awesome, real funny skits planned. Now it's not just going to be vlogs and vlogs, but uh, hope you enjoyed this story time. All right, God bless you guys. Bye.